in Nextlight's 2019-60A, I added support for the Alphapix controllers. So currently it supports the Alphapix 16, the Alphapix Flex system, and the Alphapix 4. So I wanted to make a video here to show you how to set that up in Xlights and to upload to the controller. So the first thing I'm gonna show is the controller itself. So I have an Alphapix Flex plugged into my computer. It has the default IP address right now, 192.168.0.50. And if we look at the controller, in the first output port, I have a long range differential plugged in. And then the second output port, I have a 16, port spy board so this is the local ports and then the third I have nothing but you can tell right now it says the default settings of 1 through 48 universes and 170 pixels per universe so for this setup I'm going to use the local output so I'm going to use output 17 through 32 so we'll go back to Xlights here and we'll add an E131 output so we're going to want to use unicast and we'll put in the IP address of the controller which is 192.168.0.50. We'll leave our starting universe to 1. Number of universes, we're just going to put 32 so that'll give us enough universes for all the channels we need. Leave the one output option checked. We'll keep the universe size to 510. And then for the description field, you don't this is an optional field but I like to populate it, so I'm gonna put I'm gonna put main controller. But you can put anything here if you want to say it's like your mega tree controller or whatever. It doesn't really matter. It's just an identifier for you, the user, to see. And then down for the controller type, we want to select Alpha Pix Flex. Just hit OK. And then we want to save our setup after we made that change. So now we can go to the layout tab here and start assigning models to that controller we just added. So for this, I'm just gonna do a basic tree. So we'll click the tree. We'll drag out a tree here. We'll make it 180 degrees. We'll do 16 strings. So this is the physical number of connections to the controller. So we're gonna have 16 by 50 tree. We'll come down to the start channel. And since we set the controller up to start at universe one, we'll have this start at universe one, channel one. And then down here in the controller connections, we set where on the controller we want this to be connected. So I want this on the second output board. So that's gonna be port 17. And now once you put in the port, it'll populate some other options here. And we can also see up here, it shows it's using connections 17 through 32. So since we put a 16 string tree, it's assuming you're plugging into 17, 18, all the way up to 32. And then also in the controller connections down here, we can set other options. So if I want to tell the controller that I want 30% brightness, if I change this option, when I do the upload, this will change the settings in the controller to 30%. So I'm just gonna put that in there to show it. And we'll hit save. And then now let's also add a star to our tree. So I'll click the star, drag that out. We'll do a standard holiday Coro three ring star here. And I just know from experience it's a 20, 30, 40, so it's 90 nodal, total nodes. And then in the layer size, you do 20, 30, 40 to get the three layers. So for the start channel, we're just gonna chain it after the tree. So basically this is saying, it's doing the end model of the tree and then doing the next channel. So it'll always keep the start channel after the tree. But then for the port, we want this to be on the last port of the tree. So right now the tree is 17 through 32. So if we wanna chain the star to the end of the tree, we're gonna put it on port 32. And we'll just hit save on that. So basically right now the tree is 17 through 32 outputs. And then on the last, after the last string on port 32, we also plug in the star. And we can also, so, 
we have that set up and if we want to verify that set up correctly in XLights, we can go to the setup tab here. You can right click on the controller and do visualize controller. So this window basically shows what models are wired or hooked up in XLights to the outputs. So first 16, we didn't hook up anything because that's the uh, differential expansion boards. So now we can look here, port 17, we have one string of our tree with 50 nodes and string two, three, and so on. And if we scroll to the end, we'll see on port 32, it has, this, it has the last string of lights of the tree. So string 16, and then after that, it has the star attached. So if we wire it that way, it's the same way as X-Lights is seeing it. So it's just a way to verify that we have everything kind of set up correctly. So now, based on that, everything is set up correctly in X-Lights, so now we can just push the configuration to the controller. So if you just right click, on the controller output here and then do upload to controller and do alpha picks flex you select this option it'll give you a warning basically saying we're going to upload to the controller it requires you have everything set up and it's also going to override whatever is already in the controller so if you manually set it up this is going to wipe out all those settings and put what it thinks it should be so since we currently have the default settings we want it to override and put the x light settings so just hit yes You'll get a dialog here, and basically it's kind of telling you it's going out to the controller, looking up the settings, and uploading the new ones. And when it's complete, you should get in the bottom corner here, it says AlphaPix upload complete. So now if we open AlphaPix here, we're gonna have to refresh the web page to get the new data. We should see, now down on output 17 through 32, we look here, it changed these all to 50 pixels, which is the uh, number of pixel strings for each output of the tree. And then on the last 32 port, since we had a star and that 50 pixels of the tree, it's up to 140. So it, it uploaded all the settings correctly. And also in the intensity here, which we call brightness and X lights, it changed that all to 30% to match the setting I changed in X lights. So it's kind of just an easy way to push your config to the controller and you don't have to manually set this up every time. You can just change settings in X lights, do the right, the right click upload and you're done. And there is an option in X lights too, if you have multiple controllers, you can do this upload to all controllers and then you can check the ones you have and change it to alpha picks select if you had four alpha picks just check them all and hit upload and it'll automatically do that for all the controllers you have attached so that's just kind of a quick uh video on how to use the alpha picks upload to controller uh thanks for watching